Welcome to Couture Cake Club's free clip. This time I'm going to be showing you how to create a perfect marbled board. I'm going to cover marbling effects and covering boards perfectly every time. We hope you enjoy. So here I have uh, about 150 grams of each colour of ivory and the dusky pink and I'm going to create a marbled effect for the board and to do this I put my two sausages together and I'm going to put some streaks of dark brown through it and there's no very much care or sort of accuracy involved in this method it's just adding streaks of the brown through it to create this marbled effect that we're going to get turn them over You want to have about three or four stripes on each side. Push them together and I'm just twisting them together. And then I fold in half and then twist again. At this point you just want to give a gentle mix of these two colours together We are literally just folding the two in together, that's all. I'm just going to wipe the excess brown off of the worktop so it doesn't smear through what I've got already. And then I'm going to roll this out. Now with this marbling you're going to have the different shades through it and then you'll have two sides of it as well so you'll have a top and a bottom and you can decide then which side you prefer for your actual board as you roll it the marbling will become more apparent through the fondant and it will start to take on a far more marbled look than it did when we were mixing previously. Remember to keep pushing back into your circle shape as you come around. If you are using untreated fondant I suggest you do this the day before so you aren't going to mark your board and you can allow it some time to dry before positioning your cake. So I can now decide whether I like the top or the bottom better. I'm going to go with this side and then I'm going to wet my board down just with water and then I'm going to lay my fondant on top of it. Make sure you push any air bubbles out from the sides before you seal it and then close your edges around the edge of the cake board so you can see where we're going to cut and mark. Some people prefer to trim their cake boards with a palette knife. I use a pizza wheel for pretty much every sugar cross task um, including trimming boards you should make sure that your cake board isn't too wet below it um, or you'll be much more likely to stick when you come over with your smoother and you need to use your smoother to make sure that it's a even cover over your board 
and that there are no thick parts. And you can see as you press and drag this, the dark colour staining really starts to come through. I don't know how well it picks up, but from here, the colours you can see all the way through from the pink to the ivory to the dark brown. I bring my pizza wheel in at an angle to cut through this and I'm holding it from one side and then trimming. I've cut in here slightly, we're not going to worry about that because this is our first trim, I can come back across it in a second and smooth all of that out. Take off my excess. And now I'm going to come back across with my smoother. Smooth off the edges and then I'm going to re-trim again around the board and then I'll tidy up all of the edges and give a nice smooth finish in just a second. So I'm going to clean off my pizza wheel, take a new one so as we get a nice clean cut. I'm holding on one side of my board to give a good pressure as I bring my pizza wheel in and cut. Turn the board, come in again, bring the pressure up. You should have complete contact with the side of your board and the worktop so you get this nice clean cut. Once you have that, I'm using this section of my hand here, the curve of my hand, to come around and take off any strands or ragged edges off of the edges of my board and the edge of the fondant as well. Don't worry about it pushing it back in and exposing some of the silver. We're going to come back and correct that in just a second. So anywhere that it's then taking it off, we can just smooth back over with the smoother to cover those exposed areas again. And that will leave you with a perfectly marbled covered board.